Beloved, may I call your attention to Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 18. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 18. Would you pray close attention to the word? Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 18. The Bible says, For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one job or one tip shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Does your Bible say that? Dig with me this morning, all right? If not, come Holy Spirit. Help us to exalt Jesus, exalt your word, you know your word is true, your word is true Lord. Come now Lord Jesus, we touch and agree, open hearts, open minds, increase our understanding, build up our holy faith, hear our prayers this morning. Some are seeking a healing this morning. Some are seeking finances. Some are blessing their family, Lord. Some have special needs, special prayers to be answered this morning. We ask them to come in and just bless your people, Lord. Bless their homes and households. All that concern them, Lord God. Again and again, we pray that for lost souls, saved, Lord God. Come out of darkness to your marvelous light. We have your people need this morning. We pray that thou would be the divine provider. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your care. Thank you for all you've done for us. Hallelujah. Bind the enemy and lose the blessings of God. Thank you for your own Holy Spirit. Preach your gospel. Jesus' holy name is Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 Give God a hand of praise. Amen. 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 We give honor to God who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. Yes, sir. I thank God for the Bible witness that Jesus hung, hung. Jesus bled. bled. Died for our sins, but on the third day, third day, he got up from the grave. Yes, yes. Beloved, that is the gospel. Yes. According to the scriptures, and that is good news. I want to use as a subject title this morning the inerrancy of scripture. The inerrancy of scripture. Amen. Deal with that title a little bit more later on. I will leave you hanging there. Amen. The inerrancy of scriptures. Might I say, the word of the Lord endures forever. Do me a favor this morning, beloved. Turn to a neighbor and say, the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord. endures forever. I know all of you have a great respect for the Word of God. And hopefully by the end of this sermon, you, have, you will have even a greater respect for the Word of God. Amen. And we will see how Jesus felt about the Word of God. And before I go any further, uh, some theologians think that this one verse is the greatest part of the entire sermon. That's, that's debatable, amen. Certainly, this one verse, Matthew 5, 18, is a great verse. Quick recap, quick rewind. In chapter 5, verses 3 through 12, Jesus in this sermon 
in this Sermon on the Mount talks about the Beatitudes, they say. The character of a Christian. What we must be. Hallelujah. Not become, but be as members of the kingdom of God. And then he goes on to say in verses 13 through 16, he talks about the mission of every Christian. Amen. Every Christian has a mission. Amen. Some folks think just the pastor has a mission. Amen. But every Christian has a mission. Would you wake your neighbor by saying, neighbor, oh, wake up. Neighbor, <laughs> wake up. You have a mission. Hallelujah. You are the salt of the earth. Amen. And ye are the light of the world. Amen. And today, as with last Sunday, we're going to talk about the foundation of the Christian life. Amen. You need a foundation in your life. I need a foundation in my life. And that foundation is the Word of God. Yeah. You can tell your neighbor, 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 neighbor. Your foundation, your foundation is the Word of God. Is the Word of God. The greater the foundation, the taller the building can be. That's it. That's okay. A little foundation can be a little building. <laughs> if you want to grow, then you need a greater foundation. Can you neighbor? You need. You need. And I need. And I need a great foundation. A great foundation. Jesus makes one of the greatest statements in the Word of God in Matthew chapter 5, verse number 18. And because of that, I'm going to be repeating it again and again throughout this sermon. Mm -hmm. right. If you look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 18 again, and again to soak it in your spirit, it, it says, For verily I say unto you, you till heaven and earth pass yes, one jot or one tittle yes, in no wise yes, pass from the law yes, till all yes, be fulfilled. Yes, Jesus is saying, I can paraphrase in our own language today, he's saying, I solemnly declare to you uh -huh. until heaven and earth disappear not even the tiniest letter or the tiniest book on a letter uh -huh. will in any way disappear from the law until all shall have taken place. Amen. Right. Amen. Can I break that down? Break it down. He starts off by saying, for verily, which comes from the word amen, amen. which affirms or confirms an important truth. Amen is a statement which expresses a truth or a fact. Something you know that you know to be true. If you go with me to Psalms 106, and verse number 48, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Does the Bible say that? And let all the people say what? Amen. Amen. And then it says, praise ye the Lord. Yes, when you say amen, uh -huh. then you affirm me that this is true. Uh -huh. You are confirming a truth. As a matter of fact, you are expressing a fact. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, and you agree that the statement is true. Somebody say 
true. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes in the Bible, a double amen is used. <laughs> amen. Holy Ghost. Amen. To emphasize that this truth is really true. Amen. Amen. I know the truth is the truth, but it elevates it to the status to emphasize or focus that this is true and you ought to pay attention to it. Amen. Can I back it up? Amen. From the word of God. If you go to Psalm 72 and verses 18 through 20, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. Hallelujah. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole world be filled with his glory. Amen.
that he promised. Yes. There has not failed. Y'all didn't hear me. Yeah. There has not failed. Yeah. I better wake up and smell the coffee now. <laughs> there has not failed Amen. one word yeah. of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Yes. This material world that we see, this universe that we see, one day is going to pass away. I just shot somebody right there. Psalms 102, verses 25 and 26. If you get that in the NIV, can you get that in the NIV? Look up here. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth. The heavens and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will what? Perish. Perish. But you, or y'all didn't hear me, they will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them. And they will be what? Discarded. Discard. Can I go a little farther? Isaiah chapter 51 and verse number 6. Uh, the Bible says, hallelujah, lift up your eyes to the heavens. Look at the earth beneath. The heavens will vanish, y'all don't hear me, like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment. And its inhabitants dollar fly. Somebody woke up like that. But my salvation, y'all don't hear it. But my salvation will last forever. Can y'all hear me? My righteousness will never. that the 
the heaven and the earth yes. is going to pass away yes. according to the word of God. Yes. But the word yes. is going to last forever. Cannot lie. 
and God cannot make mistakes, and God does not contradict himself, and there's no contradiction in the Bible, and there's no failure in the Bible. It is inerrant. Can I break it down? Numbers chapter 23 and verse number 19. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible says, God is not a man. Tell three neighbors, thank you, Jesus. Second time. 
Timothy chapter 3, verse number 16, the Bible said, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, Theonumatos. God breathed into man, hallelujah, and is profitable for doctrine. For reproof, yeah. for correction, yeah. for instruction yeah. in righteousness. Yeah. If you want to know right from wrong, yeah. don't go to best friend. Yeah. Don't go to girlfriend. Yeah.
proof, yeah. good for correction. Yeah. Everything you need yeah. is in that word of God. Yeah. Now,